Controlling the outputs of a PLC by observing the inputs is a fundamental concept in automation and programming. This guide will examine how the C2NRED Node Red module works with the Click PLC inputs and outputs. This is an exciting step of the world of automation and control systems. Imagine efficiently managing inputs and outputs using the C2NRED module and the Click Plus PLC. This powerful pairing helps streamline processes and boost efficiency in many different applications. We will explore how these technologies work together and how they can transform your control systems. You might wonder how flow and ladder logic programming can control the same output using the same inputs. Stay tuned to learn how the seamless integration of the C2 and RED module and the Click Plus PLC can improve your process control with greater precision and effectiveness. Let's dive in. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. What is a PLC scan? A PLC scan is an essential process in automation and control systems, helping machinery and processes run smoothly. This scanning occurs repeatedly, often hundreds or thousands of times a second. Here's how it works. Reading inputs. The PLC reads inputs from various sensors and devices. This gives important information about the current state of the system. Execute program. The PLC uses this input data to execute its program logic. It makes decisions based on specific instructions and conditions set up in advance. Setting outputs. The PLC adjusts the outputs after processing the information. This controls devices like actuators and motors, turning digital signals into real-world actions. Communication. During the scan, the PLC also handles communication tasks, allowing data to be exchanged between different components for coordinated operation. For example, the C2N RED module can communicate with the PLC, but remember that the communication is generally slower than the PLC scans time. Diagnostic. Lastly, the PLC performs diagnostic during the scan. This helps it identify any errors, faults, or unusual conditions that may need immediate attention. Understanding the PLC scan is critical for improving control processes and ensuring that systems operate efficiently and reliably. C2 and RED Full Control Previously in our post, Unleash Innovation, Node Red Flow and Click PLC, we wrote our first flow program in the C2N Red module. Using the Click Read and Click Write instructions, we directly read eight selector switches and wrote the status to the first eight outputs on our PLC. Our Click PLC ladder logic diagram only had an end statement, so the ladder logic diagram was not controlling the outputs. The C2N Red module had complete or full control of the outputs. In our initial setup, the flow program in Node Red directly manipulated the outputs in the PLC, showcasing the power of integrated control systems. We will modify our flow program so that C2N Red module and Click Ladder Logic can control the outputs. This advantage will not compromise the speed or reliability of our system. We can leverage the inherent strengths of both systems for optimal performance. Click Plus PLC Ladder Logic. The Click Plus PLC ladder logic plays a critical role in controlling the physical outputs of the PLC. When implementing the ladder logic, it is essential to ensure that the control of physical outputs is done directly through this logic. By utilizing the ladder logic, you can effectively manage the outputs of the Click PLC in a standard and efficient manner. In this context, it is essential to note that any control actions using the flow program should focus exclusively on manipulating internal memory areas. These internal memory areas, such as C1 to C8, should be utilized to control the PLC outputs indirectly. By incorporating these controls in parallel with your conditions on a rung, you can effectively regulate the physical outputs of the PLC while maintaining a systematic and organized approach to programming. Our ladder logic diagram in the Click PLC will control the first eight outputs using the internal memory area C1 to C8. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. Keeping up with all the latest innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Save and transfer the ladder logic program. 
Modifying the Flow Program Turning the physical switches on the click will no longer turn the outputs on. Our PLC scan operates quicker than the communication from our flow program, so the click ladder program controls the outputs. Modifying the flow program to control the internal memory bits of the Click Plus PLC, specifically C1 to C8, is a critical step in optimizing the functionality of your PLC system. Double click on the Click Write node. We will change the memory type to Control Relay C and the address to 1. The size will remain 8. Select Done. Select Deploy to save your changes and execute our modified Node-RED flow program. When adjusting the flow program, it is essential to consider the seamless integration between the flow program and the ClickPlus PLC ladder logic. The Synergy ensures a synchronous operation where the internal memory bits controlled by the flow program align perfectly with the ladder implementation in the ladder program. ClickPlus PLC Ladder Logic Program our switches are being read from the C2 and read module flow program and written to the internal bits C1 to C8. The click ladder logic program will control the outputs using these internal bits. We can now add additional control from the PLC. Switch 5 to switch 8 will also control the first four outputs. These input contacts will be programmed parallel to the existing internal bits controlled by the flow program. Save and write the program to the click PLC. Test the logic by activating the switches on the PLC. You will see that the flow program will turn on the outputs based on the switches condition directly using internal memory. The ladder logic will also turn on the first four outputs based on the switch conditions of five to eight. In this process, the seamless coordination between the flow program and the ladder logic ensures that your control actions are accurately translated in tangible results within the PLC system. This synchronization guarantees precise input and output control, optimizing the operational efficiency of your industrial process. The strategic modification of the Click Plus PLC program to incorporate internal bits controlled from the flow program allows you to bridge the gap effectively between different control systems. This integration empowers you to fine tune the behavior of the PLC, tailoring its functions to specific application requirements. To learn more about programming the C2 NRED module with Node-RED flow programming, click here. Click here to learn more about the ClickPlus PLC.